Meet Donna and Leo. Donna is Leo's mom. Leo, who's 20, has just recently moved out of his parents' home. Leo uses a wheelchair and other assistive devices to help him move independently through his days as a university student. But Leo still needs some support, so he's moved into supportive housing. Donna isn't thrilled with the idea of Leo being on his own. She keeps a very close eye on the attendants supporting her son. Leo's told his attendant he'd like to schedule his daily visit at noon, during a break between classes. He's also told his attendant he'd like assistance showering every other day. Donna's not happy with this arrangement, though. She wants Leo to have the same opportunities to succeed as his peers, and that means an early start and looking sharp. Donna tells the attendant to arrive at Leo's at 9 a.m. and help him shower every day. The attendant explains to Donna that Leo's asked for a daily midday visit and only wants help with his shower every other day. But Donna's not hearing it. Donna calls Aziz, the Director of Attendant Services. Aziz tells Donna the attendant was correct. Their model of service is self-directed care, which means Leo is in charge. Donna is furious and threatens to complain to the CEO and Board of Directors about the second-class treatment her son is receiving. So, if you were Aziz, what would you do now? Tell Donna it's her right to file a complaint, so go right ahead. Call Leo and explain everyone's life would be easier if he had his attendant come in at 9 a.m. and he had a shower every day, like his mother wants. Or, offer Donna a compromise and promise to have attendants come in every day at Leo's preferred time, but make him shower every day. This kind of scenario is more common than you may think, and when family members are accustomed to being sole providers of support for others, sometimes letting go is hard. And when strangers are mixed in, tensions can rise, and the situation can escalate quickly. This is the kind of situation where a neutral third party, skilled in mediation, can help diffuse tension and avoid an impasse, before those emotions, concerns, and anxieties get out of hand.